All right, it's day 85 of this ginger series. Now this doesn't look terribly aesthetic, but I'm going to go ahead and help this out again. I have to keep doing this and I straighten this one out. So I think foliage looks very green, but the leaves are almost kind of breaking. So if I don't help that out, it's just going to be a disaster. And I hope, you know, the leaves can all be green, dark green going forward instead of kind of curled up and damaged like that. It's day 86 and my unfurling manually of these leaves has helped a little bit. You know, this one, uh, hopefully this is nearing the end of the growth so I don't have to keep doing this. You know, this thing was in dire straits for a while and it seems like nothing's crooked anymore or bent at an acute angle or even 90 degrees, all of which are very bad, you know, of leaves trying to unfurl and get out of the yoke of other leaves. So this looks pretty good. Um, you know, we still haven't had any progress there. Uh, there looks like there might be some activity, you know, or maybe it's just the soil drying out. I don't know. Maybe there are no new shoots coming out. Not for a while. But if we look over here, series is finally interesting because now we have a shoot and it's on the right hand side relative to the watering hole and what that means is you know i buried the rhizome that was towel sprouted for the first three weeks or so on the right side and this one is the hydrogen peroxide soaked one so in both pots you don't see anything with a hydrogen soaked you know, a uh, hydrogen peroxide soaked one. And that shoot looks healthy. We'll see if this does a lot better in the shade, getting only 30 minutes to an hour of direct sunlight a day. Or, you know, is ginger truly a direct sunlight plant? Although all sources online say it isn't. But I've seen fields of ginseng being grown on farms and they just have it growing directly in the sun outside. So we'll see uh, which pot does better.